my loud noises again. Audio man. Mr. Eric, fix that, please. <laughs> Eric, the new sound guy. That, that, was, that was loud. I actually feel like I've gone deaf, that's for sure. Um, hopefully yeah, we can get some sound in the game. There we go. All right. Uh, action continues. Live from the Cod League. Apologies about that high-pitching squeal. Uh, TK versus Denial. Denial 1-0 up right now, Matt. And Team Kyle are actually going to be playing with Neslo this evening. I uh, mentioned earlier on a couple of players from TK may have food poisoning. TK were looking for a one-day trade, but it never came through. And yes being forced today to play with a substitute. So Neslo is playing for Theory, I think. That's what I saw on the kill feed. But also, I believe Goon was a victim of the food poisoning as well, right? He was. Um, seafood in Atlanta, man. Not the best. Goon cupping it out. I can, I can confirm that. Really is like, not the uh, best thing. Like Michael Jordan in his flu game. You ever seen uh, the flu yeah, game? Yeah, where he played with the flu, right? Uh, yeah. He, like, dominated. But they actually said that he had food poisoning, too, that he really didn't have the flu. Oh, that wow. they thought uh, a pizza guy food poisoned him during the night. Yeah, there's, like, yeah. a whole, Let me like, find out some conspiracy theories going on with them, Jay. Uh, oh, no, there's a whole, like, uh, like kind of, like, not, like, a book on it, but, like, it's a huge part of a book. Huh. Cool. Um, well, TK versus now, that game is going to be tied at 1-1. Let's uh, head over to Search and Destroy Solar, where Aware are currently playing against Team FaZe. Uh, and obviously we have a wear one oh up against phase Matt. And Yep. We'll we'll but just do a little bit of, of you know predictions, I guess, and we'll go through each game. Yeah, uh, give, give me the rundown on all the games. The, give me the rundown on all the games. The the aware phase game. How do you see this one ending? I'm gonna say phase takes this one. Uh even after losing that first map. I think uh they come back, win the next three. Really? Yes. I'm gonna disagree. I'm gonna say this is gonna be an aware three one. Just because mm -hmm. I don't think FaZe want to be together, but if they want to play together, I think they would do rather a lot of other things. But yeah. Anyway, up to gaming versus Envy. I think this is one we'll agree on. Up to gaming. Yep. Very very quick victory for up to gaming in my opinion. Uh, up to gaming's magic number. Just two games. If they can pick up two more <laughs> wins, That's they silly. will qualify for season one. And uh, also, this is a, the night of the first new Envy roster in league matches, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that is true, I believe. It is. Um, but still, I'm favoring up the gaming all day, every day. Yep. Until that streak is broken, I ain't voting otherwise, that's for sure. Um, and then Prophecy versus Justice. That one for me, Prof should be able to clean up. Agree, Matt? Uh... Disagree? I don't know, but we saw Prof looked a little bit shaky yesterday. They won a uh, 3-2 against, I believe it was Rise, and then in the second game. I mean, they went 2-0, right? They, they did, I believe. I believe they did go 2-0. Uh, you know, give me Prof. I think you're right. I yeah. think Prof wins that one against Justice. Justice, a team that's kind of you know, a lot like FaZe in the middle of nowhere right now. Oh, that's the good way of explaining it really is. And then, of course, TK versus Denial, the, the last game of the evening. Um, TK doing well to kind of catch back up. The ninth in the leaderboard overall as it stands today. But I'm saying Denal picked that up. Yeah, I'm saying Denal picks up as well. They've been looking uh, pretty good with Clay and Jcap, even though that doesn't seem like they want that to be their squad, uh, which is kind of odd because they won both CTFs and both uplinks last night. So uh, looking very good on those two game modes. Uh, but I, I'll say Denal as well. And then at 8.30 p.m., Prof versus Opti Gaming. That's going to be a good one. I think that one's going to be close. I I'm, I really want to say Prof, but I know that's the crazy thing, so I'm just going to stick with Opti Gaming. Oh, gee. No yeah. reason. I, I think it'll be a very good series. I think that'll uh, be a pretty good test for OG, but I still think they're going to come out on top. So we're both kind of saying Opti Gaming going to cement themselves into Season 1 at the end of the evening. Aware versus Envious. I'm saying Envy take that. Yep. I agree with you. Envy takes that. Uh, the addition of Zuma and Saints is huge for them. Uh, just to change the scenery for you know all the players involved in the trade, you know, and players right. still on Envy and whatnot. I think it, uh, it it doesn't really work out fair for everybody, but I think it puts everybody in a little better position. Justice versus TK, Matt. Hmm. I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna say Justice is gonna take that. Yep. I'm gonna TK agree with you. TK never seems to put together two and oh nights. It seems like they win one and then they kind of. They're really happy about it, and they don't really go as hard in the second one. So I'm going to go with uh, Justice. Ooh, nice snipe coming in from Happy. And then the last game of the evening, Denial versus FaZe. Give me Denial. I think Denial is going to win that. I think Denial 
uh, with Cap and Clay looking extremely good. Clay's very underrated at this game, Ben. Uh, I know got a little bit of a bad rap being on Envy. Took a little bit of the blame there. Don't think it was too deserved. Uh, he's been looking very good, though, on this game. They've been looking good together. Currently 2-1 in favor of FaZe in this Search and Destroy solo, but uh, some news in some other games elsewhere, Matthew. Um, Team Kappa versus Denial. Of course, Denial are 1 0 up in the series, but TK and SD Biolab are strolling through. It's a bit of a breeze at the minute. 4 1 in Team Kappa's favor. And TK struggled a lot in Search and Destroy before they moved into the Team House. Then they moved into the Team House. They've looked very good at it, but it just seems like they're not able to get to those Game 5s to win Search and Destroy. It seems they're either losing 3 1, um, losing those respawns, which is a bit of an issue. Um, you can't really just rely on your search, but since they moved to the house, their S&D definitely looking a lot better. Their S&D has been looking a little bit better since they've gone to the house. Apathy knows exactly where this last player is, <laughs> just trying to throw up some shots. He's not going to be able to take him out 2-2. But uh, you're right. Uh, one thing I want to, you know, we can always throw it out there, Ben. No, they're playing with Neslo instead of True Theory. They win both games tonight. You know, Neslo, former member of TK, not oh, on a team in the league. Look at you. Look at you, the plot thickens inside Mr. X's mind. Hashtag team changes. W I highly w doubt it, but I highly doubt it. No, you don't? Dude, yeah. why not? Give me it's a reason why It's always fun to kind of think about it. I mean, there's really not a reason why not. But I mean, you've played at more Cut Champs than Neslo has, so. Win. Well, I mean, they also did drop Neslo to pick up Looney, so, I mean, uh, to bring him back again would be really weird, but... Seems like TK, though, they just keep kind of bringing back players. They kind of cycle the same players in and out. Uh, very true. 5-1 now in favor of Team Kala on that right-hand side. Uh, the other S&Ds uh, not as far along as... Oh, Bolas goes for the little snipe, peeks back, misses, tries to run away, and does fall. So Faye's going to go 3-2 up. Meanwhile, Sharp desperately trying to run away from his opponents. Looks like he's actually in a good position to clutch this one up. Has a couple of teammates in support. I believe this is going to be a last man alive situation for Denal. And are you surprised by TK just running all over Denal here in search? Absolutely. Uh, you'd expect Denal to come out pretty good in search. You know, Clay, very good search player. So is Attach. And, you know, Replays is a uh, very good leader. A lot of people don't really talk too much about his leadership skills, but kind of, you know, Keeps the team in check, does whatever it needs to be done to win. Uh, I'm kind of shocked they're really, you know, taking it to him like this. TK, oh. one of the worst search teams. That's going to be that. TK, uh, level up. 1-1. One, one. Against Denial. Just picking up that search and story. Meanwhile, FaZe going to have sense at planting the bomb. As they're on the attacking side, bomb goes down. Four versus three as well. Lawless has fallen, but just as I say that, Aix goes down also. Let's have a look at Happy's perspective. Can he try and break this? And, of course, the round win here would... Level it up. Happy turns. He goes down. Now it's down to accuracy. One on three. It's a very difficult spot for Happy to fight out of, especially, you know, without a teammate over there to kind of come on the bottom and try and trade those kills. You would have liked Lawless to be closer with him or Happy to not go up to that position and expose himself completely. But FaZe doing a good job coming back here in S&D. But this is what I kind of expected of them, to be honest, Ben. I kind of expected them to get on, not really you know, talk or communicate too well, probably, in that first map. Everybody not getting on and playing beforehand. Uh, you know, coming out a little rusty, a little slow. They they picked it up in the second half of that hard point, you can tell, but you know, just not enough. Next round, 4-2 now in favor of FaZe. That'd be 6-1, Slasher 6-2 as oh, Slasher gets a snipe there on TJ. Looks like he's actually going to see the second, but teammate Apathy gets a snipe. Sniping duo right now. 7-1, 7-2. Already last man alive is going to be Lawless, and FaZe looks pretty good to pick up this Search and Destroy. Yeah, this Search and Destroy is looking completely in FaZe's favor. I mean, a 3-on-1 right now. Lawless have to go pretty big for them to be able to win this. Well, this still alive. Has made it a one on three. Should make it a one on two. Gets it. That was Slasher. Uh, both of the face plays at the other side of the map here. So, really, Lawless either needs to track all the way back, pick up that bomb, try and hunt down for some kills. Sensor and Aches alive. And I have a, you have to kind of have that feeling. You know, if he picks up Aches here, kind of start favoring Lawless a little bit. Confidence <laughs> of clutching the one before. Is he going to see him on the rotation? I don't think he is, but both players in the back of the base right now. 
to be a huge collapse for FaZe if Wallace is able to clutch this. And oh, since he's going to see him right in front of him, he's going to be able to take him out. FaZe one round away from tying the series up 1-1. One, one. Five to two. Kind of wanted to see that happen. The one before would have been nice, but uh, sadly, not going to happen. Sensor picks up that kill. Five and three now. There's Sensor. FaZe, as you said, Matt, looking set at managing to take this map and level up the series. Base is uh, coming out looking like a completely different team in this S&D. Uh, kind of like what I said before, but it's going to be interesting to see. I think they're going to probably push extremely hard through B. They have rounds to give away, Ben. They can kind of get away with an extremely aggressive push. It looks like that's exactly what they're going to do. Oh, oh hey. down though. Now it's just down to accuracy. Actually, all by himself, one on two. This could be a pretty nasty clutch if he's going to get it, though. And that is, of course, the question. I love the play by Slasher, though. You know, bringing the bomb right over to A right away. New accuracy was probably rotating over. They're going to be able to get bombed down. And Slasher, you know, 8-3, and three, Ben. Definitely think he's in the top two S&D players in the game. Him and Parasite, I think it's uh, kind of a toss-up who you think is the best. Yeah, we talked about this a little bit the other day. And Faye's going to go ahead and take it 6-2. to two, Tied the series 1-1, one, one, Matt. And uh, some games going on elsewhere. Optic versus Envy, their s and still going on, as well as Prof versus Justice. So we can actually dual screen up both those two games for you guys at home, and you can see them going on simultaneously on your screens. Optic Gaming currently 4-3 in the lead in Search and Destroy Biolab, and I believe last time I saw Prophecy were up as well. You're a good guy, Ben, showing all the people all these great games. You know, sometimes you just have to be a good guy. Um, yep. That's TK Stream. If you could switch that out for Embos, that'd be great. Ron, please. Ron. Ron. Now it's just on me. Now we're just standing. By the way, what do you guys think about the Red Panda t-shirt? You guys find the Red Panda t-shirt? You have Thanks, the Red Ron. Panda shirt? Yeah, dude. That's what I tried to do last round. I got have you not seen it? I was, I was going to get you one, but then. You didn't get me one? I, I, I'll get you one. I'll get you one. I, it's going to change. It's going to change. It's going to be a little bit different. That's for sure. Uh, Krim. Looks like he's just killing everything in sight. Finally falls. Uh, we'll get you the second feed into the Prof versus Justice game as soon as we possibly can. Uh, there it is, actually, on the left-hand side. Prof down in search and destroy, Matt. Five to three. They're, uh, to I Justice. A, yeah, I was going to say, you know, Justice. They're playing with uh, Facento, though, I believe, today. I mean, you know, Facento is one of the better S&D players. Uh, who is he actually playing uh, for today? Can you tell? Uh, no, I just saw his name. I didn't actually catch. Gotcha. Good job, man. But yeah, Potenza definitely uh, one of the better S&D players in the game. Uh, EG actually had him uh, as a sub for a very long time. Uh, very, the dependable sub uh, always kind of around play and always plays pretty well. I uh, just sent you an invite into the other game, Matthew. And of course, we're going to stay with the aware versus faith game. That one uh, kind of important over towards the bottom side. I believe Prof just picked up that round. So that's five. Four in favor of Justice. Don't be surprised, ladies and gentlemen, if <laughs> Prof somehow come back and win that one. It's kind of been the story of Justice and Search and Destroy. Meanwhile, Optic Gaming just one round away from going 2-0 up against Team Envious. Yeah, big hurt for Envy. Uh, you know, after making this change, they expected much better things and to see kind of the same results not get much closer to beating OG, which is kind of what everybody's chasing. Uh, that'll be a bit, uh, bit of a hit to the ego, I think. A little bit disappointing, that's <laughs> yeah. for sure. Um, as I believe Prof actually draw first blood in their round. Krim, why you has to lag, my friend? Why you has to lag? Looks like 5-4 in both these two games. Prophecy with a 2-on-1, I want to say, or a 3-on-1, maybe 3-on-2. Embos does just see him, but he jumps up. Should be able to clean up the kill. Gets it. That one, round 11, Matt. Give me your vote. Who wins, Prof or Justice? Prof. No faith in justice. I love you, Enable, but no faith in you and your team round 11 or in search and destroy. Actually, it's Enable who isn't playing today. Um, really? Like classic for Sento, Slack, and Moach. We saw Aix tweet out saying he wants to play with Enable. Come call champs. That may be a result of that move. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, now tomorrow I will be in-house. We'll be covering you know, the trade deadline a little bit, kind of like the NBA. But you expect anything to go on? Um... I want to say yes. I would love it if it did, but I can see it being a boring day when nothing happens too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it looks like Opti Gaming 
Looking good to win this search and destroy by lab. If Krim would stop freezing, that would be absolutely awesome. Uh, meanwhile, Prof on the left hand side of 5 5 Embos. I believe that's going to be a one on one as Bose tries to set up. In fact, Optic Gaming do win that search and destroy 6 4. So we can full screen up Embos now on that left hand side. Can he clutch up 5 5? In fact, he's fallen. Fizz is alive, I believe, though. So. They could still try to make a play. It's 2v1. It's all down to Classic in that one versus two. Can he clutch up for just as time's ticking, Matt? I, I don't have any faith that he's going to be able to clutch this, Ben. Uh, I know 2v1 situation is pretty difficult. And I know Justice, they're kind of known for choking these round 11s. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And this one looks like it could be another one added on to that list. That 23 seconds. 20 seconds. I believe they have just seen... Seen him at the other side of the map, but somehow he's still alive. Oh, Fear's getting a little bit weak. Nine seconds left. He's going to have to plant a bomb any second now, surely. I can't see either Prof player losing a gunfight. There it is. Prophecy come back. Pick up the win. Prof 2-0. Guys, quick commercial break. When we return, more action live from the Codley. <laughs>